Hi, I'm Jonathan Smith from Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a very, very nice 2006 Contender 31 center console. Uh, it was repowered in 2012 with brand new Verado 300s. Uh, there's only 246 hours on those engines. The boat is stored every winter in a climate control building in Westerly, Rhode Island, and it receives full service from a top-notch marina Avondale boatyard um, in Avondale, Rhode Island. So uh, things they do are oil changes, filter changes, they change the lower unit oil, um, they change the spark plugs as needed. It gets the full treatment. Uh, it already has fresh bottom paint. They're done, they've done some waxing on it. And uh, right now, as I got here, they got the lights around it and they're doing some other you know, routine service. So this boat gets the, the uh, full treatment every year. All right, hey, let's go take a look. Be sure to reach out to me if you have any questions or would like to set up a showing. Uh, while it's indoor storage, the best showings are gonna be during the week, Tuesdays through Fridays. So come see it, I'd be happy to show it to you. It's uh, definitely worth a look if you're in the market for a boat like this. One of the All things right. I should mention right away is the uh, prior owner down in Florida, when he bought the boat, he had it fully overhauled, refit, um, and I don't know all the details, but he brought it to uh, one of the top places down there. I think I'll put the name of the place in the listing. I have it, I just can't remember off the top of my head. And uh, just went through the boat, had it fully restored, refitted, uh, and you know made it look like new. And it really kind of still does look new. And um, and it wasn't because there were any damage or any sinking or anything. It's just because, uh, you know, he wanted the boat to be as perfect as he could. So I believe that was in 08 or no, 09. And then he sold the boat in Florida in 2012 to the current owner, who's had trucked it up to the Northeast and he's had it up here ever since. And obviously you can tell the fact that it's in a climate controlled winter storage uh, with all the service. Um, you know, it's it's been very well taken care of. You can see it's already got bottom paint. Right now they're uh, putting that anti-fouling spray paint on all the metal pits under the water. It's good to see a boat that's taken care of uh, the way it really should be. So, while this is a 2006 Contender 31, the engines were replaced in 2012 with brand new Verado 300s, four stroke engines. They only have 246 hours on them right now. They had 50 hours on them when he bought the boat in 2012. He had the boat shipped up here to New England and he's put about 200 hours on them over the last uh, six years or so. The marina that takes care of these engines does oil filter changes uh, and lower unit oil changes every fall. And then in the spring they do the fuel filters and uh, the spark plugs if they need them. Some of them have the long life spark plugs, they don't need to be done every year. But whatever they need, it gets done as an open checkbook to make sure everything's done right on the boat. In fact, you know, right now I got here, they're in the middle of doing some uh, routine maintenance. I see they're servicing the trim tabs right now. And uh, the boat already has fresh bottom paint on it, so it's ready to go. You can see the bottom paint looks really good. I got a light here, I'll show you. And they're servicing one of the uh, through holes right there, right now. Not sure what. The top sides are shiny, they look good. Let's walk around the boat. I don't see any dings, any scratches. Oh, it just looks really nice. It's a really nice example. Oh, there's a little ding right up there, right at the top of the bow, a little gel coat ding. It's the caught a Oh, that's probably that's from the anchor coming up, is that exactly what that is. Lifting the anchor up, you're not paying attention, you whack it. Walking down the uh, starboard side here. I don't have a lot of room to play with between the boats. Uh, 
nice light blue color, a medium blue bottom paint, medium blue, kind of a royal blue uh, boot top stripe. Here's the other side of the Verados. There were, uh, there is a set of spare props and they're down low in the uh, anchor locker up forward. I think actually they may be three bladed props and I see there's four on here now. I, I can't remember. I, I do have a photo of those if you check the listing. Nice boat, well taken care of. Everything is turnkey, low hours, hard to go wrong. All right, let's take a look at the helm area. You can see you've got a uh, bench seat that can serve sort of as a leaning post if you're driving standing up. For electronics, we have a Garmin 4212, 12 inch display, GPS chart plotter, Clarion stereo, and an ICOM VHF. And this boat also has a nice autopilot, a uh, Simrad autopilot right here. Your engine controls, I just checked the hours. There are 246 hours on the port and starboard engine. Very low hours for these 300 horsepower Verados. Everything you need. Oh, and uh, a Ritchie compass as well. And uh, up top there is a LED bar light. And then here's your outrigger controls as well. Although I don't know if he has the outriggers on here. They're not on right now. Probably put away for the winter. Here's some shore power inlets. There's a battery charger. Looking aft now. Sorry, we're under plastic here. Fish boxes, a lot of storage under the deck. I actually couldn't open those. I think the seals are kind of stuck to the fiberglass. I didn't want to force it. Live wells in the back. Storage, swim platform back there and the engines. Hard to see through the plastic we got on here right now for indoor storage. Yeah, let's walk forward while I got you going. This is a huge, wide open area for fishing. It is really large. Um, that is a sun cushion that folds out. So if you're out with the kids and the family, you can pop this out. It's a little tired, needs a little cleaning. Um, looks like the foam is sort of dry. We've got some dust laying around that's from that foam. So that may need a little replacement or service anyways. Uh, so, but it's there if you want it. Storage underneath here, big deep storage uh, compartments. Up forward, there is a Danforth anchor, chain, road, big storage up there. He's got three fenders stored up in the anchor locker. There's no windlass, just so you know. You do have um, rod holders, hard to see, but they're there on both sides. They go all the way down the, the uh, gunnels on both sides. And uh, right in this area, there's a big cooler that comes out with a cushion on top that makes a seat right here. And then this is the, the backrest. But let's take a look in the console. Actually, that is that cooler with the cushion right there. It's got a little storage tote. Place for paper towels. And here's our battery switches and our electric panel. I actually got the power on there. Now it's off. And so it's a good area. It's big enough to put a porta potty in there if you wanted to. LED light, flood light aim forward and there's one on the aft edge of the t-top aiming towards the aft of the cockpit a lot of fishing room in the back of this boat too this is a real nice boat it's a machine um, there is a place back here for a seat and there's a little folding seat that folds down in a backrest i saw those cushions up forward in storage right now and here we have a, a little door to get onto the swim platform for swimming or pulling the fish in back of the uh, console we've got storage drawers for tackle or whatever from what I see he's not a fisherman he's not using this as a fishing boat I don't see tackle and a lot of fishing gear I think it's just a family boat and uh, the reason he's selling is he just hasn't been using it enough you know too many other things with the kids these days and uh, boating's not as big a priority and uh, so I think there he told me there were about 50 hours on it when he bought it the brand new uh, Verados they were new in 2012 
and he trucked the boat up from Florida and has used it well about, about 200 hours since he's had it since 2012 so you know six years about 200 hours he's not he's not uh, using the boat a lot he's not going offshore to the canyons or anything like uh, so this boat is lightly used taking a look on top of the t-top you can see we got Garmin HD radar which ties into that uh, Garmin 4212 multifunction display we do have outriggers up here although I don't know where the, the poles are I actually don't think he uses it for uh, fishing so he may not have them on there but I know what the boat has them and then we got our uh, various antennas here um, I'm gonna assume one of these is a satellite radio antenna the other is a GPS antenna we got VHF antennas as well so it is a canvas uh, t-top in good shape Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. Text or call me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Make sure you get that .net right. If you do .com, I don't know where it goes. Anyway, uh, thanks for looking at this 2006 Contender 31 with 2012 Verado 300 outboards. It's a really nice boat. If you've been looking around the New England area, you know there aren't a lot of good quality center console outboard power boats on the market these days. Uh, and this, is, this one here is definitely worth seeing if you're looking for a center console boat in this size. This thing will go offshore, it'll go to the canyons, it'll take the family to the beach, it'll do whatever you want to in style, class, and comfort. So uh, hey, come, come check it out, reach out to me, I'd be happy to show it to you. All right, thanks.